Today we're going to be polishing up a ring using the Monoroda A-Star um, rotary and ultrasonic system. We're going to be using some ultrafine ceramic stones and then moving on to radial discs and then finally polishing up with our um, felts and rouge. You tighten up the ultrafine ceramic into the holder using the grub screw. Ultrafine ceramics are ideal to use, they can be shaped into any particular shape and size that you want. It's important to have to expose the end of the ceramic fibres so that they can be used correctly. Shaping the file with a hand file like this allows you to create the shape that you require. This particular ring has been um, cast from a 3D printed wax so it's got quite a lot of marks in it from the printing process. Ultrafine ceramics work particularly well in this case because you can get into tight spaces and also they do remove quite deep marks. So the particularly good thing is that you can get right up under these settings without losing any of their definition, any of their shape. So this is the 800 grit blue ultrafine ceramic stone. Coarser grits of ultrafine ceramics are available and also diamond grits. So I'm just using a pair of parallel pliers, um, pretty much any will do, and this just breaks the stone where you want it to break. This is a smaller stone, it's a 1x2. We were previously using a 2x4 stone. The idea of using a larger stone is that you can cut it down to the appropriate size and shape. And this is a finer grit that we're using. It's a 1000 grit. So the beauty of this machine is that you've also got the rotary handpiece. A lot of um, jewellers use this now because you don't have the flex shaft lead which can um, sometimes affect your movement. Um, the handpiece is really simple. You just pop the spindle in and then twist it to lock it. And that's it, that's your spindle in the machine. So the range of this machine is 1,000 to 50,000 RPM, so it does go quite fast. You probably don't want to go that fast though. Um, I'd recommend you stay in the green section, possibly into the yellow. Get it going and see how you feel with it. So we're just starting with the blue. That's a nice, fairly coarse grit. With radial discs, you won't lose any of the definition of the settings. This 400 grit, and we have the full range of grits. Um, and it's a bit like emery paper. You want to work through the grits so that you can remove each of the scratches. And with the radial discs, you're just taking out the scratches that we've put in with the ultrafine ceramics. So we've now just moved down to the one micron green radial disc. So this is the final grit that you can get in the radial discs, and this one will bring it up to the pre-polished stage. As you can see, it's kind of getting quite a good shine as it is. We're finally moving on to a mounted felt bob. I'm just using a little bit of Jewelers Rouge. This is really the final stage. Just bringing it up to a really nice shine. This is a soft felt, which is ideal for jewellery. As you can see, it's a brand new felt, so you do get a little bit of dust. But it gets into all of the nice contours of the ring. We do various shapes, all different softnesses and hardnesses. So there you go. Have a nice shiny ring.